It's March 1st, and this is your Pacific Palisades Real Estate Market Update. I'm James Respondek with Rodeo Realty, coming to you from my offices here, right here in the Palisades Village. There are presently 68 active listings in the Palisades. That's up from 63 last week, so it is creeping up for the selling season. I just listed in the Malibu Country Estates 24743 Vantage Point Terrace, a 3,850 square foot beautifully remodeled home listed at $4,195,000. A great price, I gotta say. Now it's situated on a beautiful 40,000 square foot lot behind gates at the end of a quiet cul-de-sac street. It has five bedrooms and four baths and really nice ocean views. Just listed in the Riviera, 681 Amalfi Drive, listed for $16,995,000. This is an eight bedroom, 10 bath home. And it was built in the 30s, but beautifully redone in the 90s. So it's a little dated, but it's got great rooms. It has a beautiful lot, it has views. I like this property and You'll be humming some fantastic songs when you go through there because it belonged to a beautiful songwriter. Just listed in the Upper El Medio area, 1036 El Medio Avenue listed for six and a half million dollars. It's a 4,700 square foot house on a 20,000 square foot lot. It has a nice ocean, no, not shouldn't say nice, big views of the ocean and the city. It is remodeled and it features 20 foot floor to ceiling windows in the family room. Just listed in the Marquez Knowles, 740 Lockman Lane listed for 4.2 million. This has also has big views. The house is probably a tear down or a major fixer. It feels a little bit pricey. Just listed in the El Medio Bluffs also, 615 Palmera Avenue. Now, this is 3,200 square feet on a 5,500 square foot lot. It is contemporary, although I think it started in the 70s, so it's a little dated contemporary, but it's listed at 3,395. It's got a nice canyon vibe feel. I like this one. Just listed in the Alphabet Streets, 817 Galloway Street. Now this is um, a, a, a little cottage with the, its latest iteration was done in 2014 when it was uh, added on to and it is now listed at 2.8 million dollars. It is 1650 square feet on a cozy 3500 square foot lot. It's got a really nice feel. I like, I showed it today actually. I hope my buyer makes a play for it because I think there's going to be lots of offers on that one. Just listed in the Palisades Highlands, 16607 Calle Germain listed for $2.9 million, 3,200 square foot or on a 10,000 square foot lot. It's a nice corner lot, it's got nice views, and these, these, these houses up there have nice high ceilings. All right, so the kitchen was updated, but I think the baths are still original. I kind of like that at that price. Just listed in Upper Marquez, 1022 Tellum, listed at, wow, a million nine ninety five. This is going to get multiples and multiples, I think. It's a 1900 square foot Lockman post and beam style. So, and it's on a 10,000 square foot corner lot and it's got some views. So, you know, you could keep this house and fix it, or you could build a new one. You could maybe go down, maybe go up. You could probably build something pretty nice on this. Just sold in Sunset Mesa. Wow, 18242 Wakecrest Drive sold way over the ask, 300,000 over the ask for $4,750,000, 2,300 square foot. They're calling it Coastal Zen Retreat. It did have some really nice high-end finishes and it's got the big views. Just sold in the Highlands, one 
865 Michael Lane. Now this is in what they call the Tennis Estates up there. So it's a little guard, uh, uh, gated community of only 14 homes and it shares like two or three tennis courts, a pool and a little clubhouse. <laughs> and it's listed for 3 million 300 and I'm sorry, sold for 3 million 379,000 Oh, it sold 380000 over the ask. Another over the ask. Wow, what's going on here? Just sold in Castellamar. 226 Giardino Way. Sold for $3,275,000. 425000 over the ask. That's the third one in a row. I don't, I, I can't believe it. This house had views. It's got a lot of charm, but the floor plan was a little unique and the lot was a little unique. So I hope this information has been helpful to you. And if you're looking to find your perfect home, I see more property than just about anybody. Plus I know about a lot of things that are off market. Or if you're thinking of selling, it's a great time to still capture some really good prices. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next week.